Uh, at approximately 10.16 this morning, Habersham County Sheriff's deputies responded to uh, a 911 caller uh, from a business across the street uh, from two of our Habersham County schools uh, that was reporting uh, hearing a gunshot as well as a uh, seeing a fight uh, between uh, a juvenile, uh, what they believed was a juvenile male and a juvenile female uh, in the area of the uh, Central Alliance Church. And uh, how many schools in the county went under lockdown? I believe that we placed all of them on soft lockdown, um, essentially just the ones uh, you know, that we're truly concerned about. Uh, and as part of our protocol and out of an abundance of safety would be the ones that are directly across the street. And so uh, it's not out of uh, common practice for us to do that. You know, it would be no different if we were um, involved in a vehicle pursuit or a foot pursuit in that area. We do it out of an abundance of caution. In light of what occurred in Ubaldi, Texas uh, yesterday, the first thing I want to make sure that everybody in Habersham County understands and all of our parents and the students and staff at our schools is that this isn't a school shooting. It's in proximity of a school, uh, that it happened uh, off of the campus. Uh, but really what I would like to focus on, and I think you we're going to find out in the coming days as more information comes out, uh, is that this was a complete team response. Uh, this wasn't just Habersham County uh, Sheriff's deputies. It was our SRO program, it was our criminal investigators that were on scene, it was our public information officer from the county, it was the city of Demarest, it was the fire department, it was EMS, and so this uh, was definitely a full team response, uh, having the initial information that it was a shooting in the area of the school uh, definitely put us all on alert and made sure that uh, everybody was there and everybody did their job. It's not a school shooting. Uh, however, we treated, we treated it very much like it was. Again, as you saw, we put the schools on lockdown. Uh, we sent all of our resources there. Uh, we do tabletop exercises just like this several times a year um, so that we're prepared in advance. And we do that with our partners, uh, not only with the school district, but the surrounding agencies. And you saw a lot of that today. It wasn't just Habersham County Police uh, Sheriff's Department vehicles that were there. It was police vehicles, it was county vehicles, we all came together because we've had that practice in advance.